Attention all barbecue lovers. There will be a gathering in Indio to showcase their delicious food and compete for the title of best barbecue. Now this is an eighth annual. Here to talk about the event is community services manager for the city of Indio, Jim Curtis. Welcome, Jim. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on, Thalia. You got it. First of all, talk about why this event is such a hit. You know what? It, w about eight years ago, we all came up with like, what can we do on the north side of Indio, mm -hmm. right? There's a lot of stuff on the south side, a lot of concerts and our festivals and things like that. So let's do something on the north side. And somebody brought up barbecue and we said, who's been doing barbecue festival? Nobody. Right. Let's do it. So we started doing it eight years ago. And what does that entail? I mean, anybody that can throw a piece of meat on the grill or what? <laughs> well, it just depends. So we'd like, we want those people too, right? Okay. To vend and sell their barbecue is great. But the competition is actually part of a, a program that's nationwide and they compete for points and money obviously as well, but points to get the, to be the final champion of barbecue. And uh, it's a great program. So those competitors are kind of separate from the festival itself. Um, but this year we are changing some things around. So you had this really good competitive barbecue food, but the audience or the guests that came could never taste that. So this year we're doing something different. We're going to actually have a booth for when the barbecue competition is over, there's all this leftover food. Because if you're cooking a, uh, some ribs, right, mm -hmm. you're not cooking one rib or two ribs. Right. You're cooking a rack of ribs, right? right? Yeah. And they, but they only need one or two or three for the competition. So the other six, seven, eight, or the other racks, we're going to start selling that. And m a lot of that money will go to charity as well. So nice. you'll be able to taste the competition barbecue. What makes somebody really good at barbecue? You know what? I'm not a barbecue aficionado at so all. You don't know. I don't know. I just know that it's got to be good. The way it tastes. <laughs> exactly. Right? right? So That's what it comes down to. The rub that they put on. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love walking back to where all the competitors are, are doing their stuff and seeing what they're doing and the rub they're putting on and talking to them. They love talking about their barbecue and what they do. So okay. uh, th those are the guys that talk. Those are the experts for sure. And what activities and vendors will be there as well? You know, we're not going to just have barbecue. We got some kettle corn and your other, your, your, your things like that that we're going to have. But we're also going to have a pet adoption. Ooh. So they'll, they'll be out there if you're ready to adopt a pet. They'll be out there as well. We'll have some bouncy houses for the kids as well. And lots of entertainment. It'll be, we have three groups that are playing uh, throughout the afternoon. So it'll be a lot of fun for everybody. Nice. And we know Rotary is involved somehow? Yes, that's a great thing as well. So we're doing a ball drop. I don't know if you've heard about that. But we're doing a golf ball drop. Okay. So there's going to sell 1,200 plastic golf balls. And then we're getting our Indio ladder truck that's going to lift all those balls in a bucket. They're plastic, so it won't be too bad. Okay. And people are going to buy a golf ball, and we're going to put it over our putting green and cut one hole in the putting green, and we'll drop the balls. Oh, and whatever one falls, falls in is the in. winner. Winner. We're going to have first and second ball in the hole, but then also the farthest ball away. Ah, okay. So if your ball hits another ball and ricochets this way. Then you're a winner, you're winner, gonna... barbecue dinner, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and where can people go for more information? Our website is uh, for Indio is www.indio.org. Okay. So go there. It has all the, that information. It's Saturday, November 18th mm -hmm. uh, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And do you get tickets ahead of time or there or both? It is free. It's free. It's free. Free is for me, we like to say around here. <laughs> it is free. We do have a small parking <laughs> charge, but the barbecue festival is free. So come on out. It'll Wonderful. Be so much fun. All right, Jim Curtis, thank you so much. And it seems like it's going to be a great event. Absolutely. Thank you very much. All right. Maybe I'll see you there. Absolutely. And we hope you go too. We'll be right back.